Hi friends, welcome to Learn IT with Venkat. Today's video we are going to see about AAA authentication mechanism using Radius server. In the previous video I did it in TACAC server. Here I am going to do it in this Radius server using Cisco Packet Tracer. If you want to understand what is the use of Radius server and TACAC server, you can refer my previous video. The link is given in the description. Let me start the configuration now. So this is my topology. Here I have a server called radius server and here I am having my router and two client PCs. All the IP addresses of these devices already pre-configured. Here I have given the difference between uh, TACAX and radius server. TACAX stands for terminal access controller access control system and which is a Cisco proprietary protocol used in the Cisco devices only and here the encryption is more because it encrypts all the pockets between your client and the server. But if you go to radius server, it is an open standard protocol and it encrypted only password, not all the pockets between your client and system. And this radius stands for remote access dial in user service. Both TACAX and radius server used for external server based user authentication. Here, for accessing this router, we are not going to store the user's credentials inside this local device. Here we are going to create all the user credentials inside the server and here we are going to assign that authentication to the line console, axillary and VTY. And if any user wants to connect with this router, then that user has to provide the username password that validation happen in the server port. Okay, go to the router, enable configure terminal. First I want to enable this router for triple E authentication. So give the command called triple A new model. So once you have given this command, your router enabled for triple A authentication. Next triple A authentication for login. Here we have to create a list for your authentication. So give the question mark and here you can create your word or name for that list or you can use the default name. So for example, here I am using the default list followed by group and which server we are going to use it means the radius server and followed by that I am giving local command. The local command is used for an alternative way of logging into your router if your radius server is down and give enter and now I have to tell who is my radius server. So radius server host and the radius server IP address. So radius server IP address is 192.168.10.100. 192.168.10.100 and I have to give the key for this server from the router. So here I am giving the server 123 as my key. So through this key the router can access the server and both communication can be validated. The same key you have to create in the server for this router access later. Now I am first going to give this access for the console. So line console 0 and give login authentication and the list name we have given is default enter and I exit. Now create the local username also username Venget password is Venget. Okay. This is a local login credentials. If your radius server is down, we can use this username and password to login into the router. Okay. Give enter, end, w or exit. Okay. Now we don't create any login credentials in the server. So here I am going to check with my local username password. So Venget, Venget. So first it will check for the radius server but as of now I didn't enable radius server in my topology. So after that it will authenticate this local username and password. It will take time because of that checking process first for radius server. Now it allowed this user. Next I am going to the server service triple A service. So here you have to enable this service first and for which device is going to be your router and the router IP address is 192.168.10.1 is my gateway and the secret for accessing this server we have created server 123 in your router and here the service type 
is going to be radius and click add button so this service added and this is the key which is used by router to validate with your server and here i am going to create a user 1 user 1 as my password add it and another user let it be user 2 user 2 is my another user so two users here i have created to access this router through the radius server type okay service this is a protocol now i am going to check it so click your router so so far you have used your local login to access it now check it again exit now use the same login venget and venget see now it is not allowing it why we have enabled that radius server so it won't allow you to access through the local username password you have to access this router only with the help of user1 user1 which account you have created in your server now see it has been accepted exit check for the next user user2 user2 now it has been accessed now i have to assign this to the remote access enable configure terminal line vty 0 space 4 this is for virtual terminal remote access through telnet i am going to access it so login authentication and list name is default okay end wr and go to your pc desktop command prompt and here telnet is the command 192.168.10.1 is my server ip so here user 1 user 1 see here remotely also i can access through the user accounts which i have created in my server okay let me try with the local user which i have created before use the same command venget is my username local i have created and venget is my password see it won't allow you to access okay suppose if my server is down config your fast ethernet shut down your port so now your server is down okay let me try to log in into my router exit okay using the username which i have created inside the server user1 user1 it won't allow you to enter into the router because these users are created inside your server so now your server is down so you can't access this router using the user which you have created inside the server okay that's why you have enabled local and you have created local username and password venget venget now it will allow you to enter okay let me check for virtual terminal also so go to the same pc so command prompt now try for uh, user1 and user1 so remotely also you can't access the router using the username password which you have created inside the server connection timeout how i can use it using the local username venget venget see now it has been connected if suppose if you not configured this local username password means if any situation happens for server down then you can't access your router so it is mandatory and advisable to create the local username and password along with your radius or tacac server username and password so here we have created model authentication list this is the local username and password and followed by that you have assigned server ip address and server key followed by that you have assigned that to line console login and also for line btw0 slash that's it hope you understand see you next video if you like this video share with your friends subscribe the channel bye bye